Hi, this is Steve from RippleTraining.com. I'm starting a regular series called Steve's Production Tips, where I show you some of my favorite tips and techniques in Final Cut Pro 10 in under five minutes. Today, I'll show you how to use the Ken Burns effect to reveal different parts of a photo without using keyframes. I know a lot of you out there shoot photos, and here's a photo of basically Team Ripple. We're sitting out in the field, we're relaxing, it's kind of a production shot, and I really wanna animate from one subject to the other. In fact, let's take a look at the finished product so you can see what it's gonna look like when we're done. So you can see the camera pans from one subject to the other, then it holds, then it animates over again, holds, then pulls out, and we have our large-scale picture of everyone in the frame. Very easy to do inside Final Cut Pro, and you don't have to use a single keyframe. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this project called Team Ripple, and I'm gonna add the photo to the timeline by selecting the photo and pressing E to add the clip to the timeline. Because there's no other video clips in the timeline, it wants to know the resolution, I'm just gonna click OK, press Shift Z to fit the photo to the timeline window, and now we're gonna apply the Ken Burns effect. I'm gonna select it, go over to the lower left of the viewer, and using this drop down menu, I'm gonna choose crop and I'm going to click the Ken Burns button. For those of you who have used the Ken Burns, you'll know you have a start and ending frame. So what I wanna do is uh, set up my start frame first. I wanna start over here on Travis. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the frame over here, set it up right there, that looks like good framing. And my ending frame, I wanna set right over Jill and I. We're sitting in the middle of the field, so I have my start and ending frame. If I wanna see what this looks like, I can press this little button, click this button, and it does a preview of the animation. Perfect. Now we're not done. We really need to hold on this shot of Jill and I at the end of the animation. The Ken Burns doesn't automatically allow you to do that. You have to kind of trick it by creating a freeze frame at the end of the clip. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna press down arrow, and then left arrow to go to the last frame and press Option F and that will add a freeze frame that matches the ending frame of the Ken Burns effect. So you can see it just completely uh, will match. If I play this through, see that it goes to a nice freeze frame. You can also adjust the duration of the freeze frame if you want, and you can even adjust the speed of the animation for Ken Burns by, by trimming it here. And that's the thing about Ken Burns, you can control the speed simply by, by trimming the length that you need. So there we go. Now, what we wanna do is I wanna pan from us over to the two individuals you can't see off to the right side of the frame, Mark and Zion. So to do that, I'm going to select this clip and I'm going to copy it. Command C, I'm going to go to the end of the timeline, press Command V to paste. And what I need to do is swap the start and ending frame. The reason is, this previous frame here, the still, is the ending frame, and we need it to be the start frame of the next Ken Burns sequence, or the next Ken Burns animation. So I'm gonna click the swap button, and you'll notice now the start frame matches the previous frame, the still frame. And now all I need to do is grab this end frame and move it over to where I want it, in this case, right over Mark and Zion, and I'll go ahead and preview it to see how it looks. Perfect. Maybe it's a little fast, a little slow. I can go ahead and adjust it how I want. And then also I wanna do is I wanna do a freeze frame at the end. So make sure I'm at the end of the sequence and press option F. And now I have a freeze. I'm gonna click done. I'm going to set that. And now it freezes right there on Zion and Mark. So one last thing I wanna do, I wanna widen out to see everyone in the shot. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this clip. Go to the end of the sequence, command V to paste. Select the clip, make sure Ken Burns is turned on. And I'm gonna set the swap, end and start frame, swap them. And I'm gonna go ahead and set the ending frame for the entire group. I'm gonna go ahead and preview that, see how that works. It's a little fast, so all I need to do is uh, to trim it, make it longer, but just trim it out, pull out some of the frames there. And what that will do is uh, make the animation happen a little bit longer. And maybe that's, maybe that's taking a little bit too long, so I'll just move my playhead over here and press Option, right bracket. And I'll do a freeze frame there because the playhead's already parked there, so I'll press Option F. I'll press Shift Z to zoom out, go back to the beginning of the timeline, and we'll play it back.
and there you have it. Click the subscribe button below to be notified whenever we create a new tip. Go to rippletraining.com to get fast professional training for Funnel Cut Pro, Motion, and DaVinci Resolve from certified professionals.